Keegan. What's up? Hey, man. Hey. Tom. What's up? Hey. What's up? Hey, everyone else. Welcome to Level 2 Gaming. Uh, today we're going to be uh, playing a, a little PC gem that's been out for a, a good bit of time now. Uh, it's called Undertale. Uh, we wanted to play this game because uh, it's going to be on a lot of end of year lists for a lot of uh, publications and we wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what that looks like. Uh, I just recently started it myself. I'm about two, three hours in so we'll be picking up from where my save left off. Uh, so if you are at all concerned with spoilers, know that there may be some spoilers involved with this quick bite. Uh, but I'm really excited for you guys to see it because it's a really funny game. It's a really charming game. The art style is fantastic. I have to admit I have seen it. I've seen some gameplay of it. I've watched uh, some other YouTubers play yeah. it. So I it's, know it's, it's a quite, about it's quite, this game. It's an yeah. awesome game. Yeah. It reminds me of like an NES. I just think it's nice that we're doing more PC games. Yeah. In general, I think it's nice. We, we focus a lot on console, but it's good to dig into a good old PC and well. Yeah, every once in a while. So I'm really pumped for you guys to see it uh, and to, you know, hopefully laugh at some of the uh, very charming writing that this game has. So uh, let's go ahead and jump in if you guys are ready. Let's get it. Cool. Make that big boss less special. It ain't no game, but they say I'm welcome to the second level. Second level. Second level. Second level. All right. It just started right up. There's not even like a. There's not even. Yeah, yeah I just go. Play with my mouse. All right, guys. So this is a uh, Undertale. So um, Keegan, you've watched a little bit of uh, gameplay of this before, correct? I have. It reminds me of a lot like an NES uh, game. Well, do you ever play? Or have you ever heard of Earthbound? This I've heard of it. Never, I've never played it. This game is stylistically very similar to uh, Earthbound. It also pokes a lot of like that 201X as yeah. like a making fun of Mega Man. Uh, so, Tom, you've never really seen much about this game, right? No, I have not. I'm I'm currently enjoying the twee aesthetic of it. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, got, a, it's got a very twee aesthetic. Uh, a lot of people... Uh, that wasn't me mocking was you, I'm bad. really sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, I thoroughly enjoyed that, I'm not even going to lie. A lot of people, yeah, are like, oh, the, the, the aesthetic of the game is very, like, childlike, and, it, and there's definitely some very funny, very juvenile humor to it at times, but there's also, like, uh, a, a serious amount of heart to this game, and I think that that's what makes it such an, an interesting game is that it balances out styles a lot. Uh, I'm really enjoying feel like this I'm, retro intro. I, say, I really feel like I'm flashing back to like the 90s yeah. right yeah. now. This is like Mega Drive, SNES. Yeah. So. Oh, look at that. Look at that pixelated intro right there. Cool. So Press 2 or enter. So we're going to jump into my save. Uh, so the biggest th you know thing with this game is that, that you actually have the ability to do a completely pacifist run or you can kill people. So right now, what I'm a, doing a, are your controls WASD? Uh, no, they're left. Uh, you know, left, right, up, down. Uh, C, C opens up your menu and Enter does everything. Wait, else, so you use so. arrow? The game uses arrow keys? Yep. That's uh, like, no, it's an old school game. You also have a cell game. phone, which you can oh, call people old. with. Uh, Papyrus. Yeah, Papyrus is a is a character in the game who. Is it just me? Is just no taking response. cues from Metal Gear Solid? A little bit. I mean, you can do a stealth run or a kill run. Mm -hmm. You can call people in the middle of your missions. They have, you know, comical responses. Yep. So... Is that flashy light a save point? Yep, that's a save cool. point. Um, and every single time you go to a save point, serene sound of a distant music box, it fills you with determination. Is that a <laughs> foreshadowing, I'm assuming? No, I just went past the music oh. box. Every single thing in this game fills you with Whoa. determination when you're on a save. I feel like he looks like Chucky as well. Yeah. Whoa, that so, the shadow though. The basic idea The basic idea with this story is that uh, you are this human who fell down a well into the world of monsters, and there was a war hundreds of years ago between humans and monsters. <laughs> and oh, there's a monster. And now I'm gonna... Fight one. Nope. So this is uh this is Undini and she is a like a, a head general for the big monster overlord or whatever. Uh, and she wants to capture you. So the the idea is that the big monster king wants to capture a human soul because there is a gate that can only be unlocked with the power of a human soul. Um, and so if he captures a human, he can utilize their soul to open up. Uh, oh, and now we're gonna battle. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, so battles are interesting, and I, I hope we can get to a normal one, because it kind of has this bullet hell dodging attacks idea to it, so... Oh, this, this, I feel like Zelda... Oh, shit, I hope this is gonna, this might be rough, I need to find out how to get out of here. This might be another, another hard west, right, Jordan? No, but, um, that is not gonna be at all what this <laughs> is, you bastard. I, I haven't actually died in this game yet, uh... <laughs> I say that. Yeah, I was gonna say, careful what you say now. Getting, getting pretty angry. This is really like I'm, I'm 
As somebody who, I'm a big fan of the old retro games that you guys know. Um, I'm a big NES, SNES fan, I didn't have one growing up, but like, I feel like I would actually get into this game just because the art style and aesthetic of it is really, really cool. I feel like a lot of indie developers are going with that though, like almost all like semi-popular indie titles that are out right now are based around this retro aesthetic because oh. it's easy to make. Like, yeah, these look, games at, look at Shovel Knight super easy to make. and how, what that's done. Yeah. And people, you know, there's a nostalgia, god oh, damn this is tough. There's yeah. a nostalgia element to it as well. Um, you know, gamers of our age are looking at these new little indie games. They're almost like corrupted versions of the games from our youth because they can go play, darker yeah. and they can go weirder. You, you know? hit the edge. How do we know where we're going? Or do we don't? Music stopped. Yeah, I so say the music stops. No more swords in your butt. <laughs> yeah, well, all right, so I had to walk back that way. But yeah, I really like the aesthetic of it a lot. Um, there's a lot of really charming writing in it. Uh, I've never actually seen... Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Well, you done did it now. Fly, you fools. Uh, fly, you fools. Man, that would have been a great... Like, they should have utilized uh, a, Lord of the, or a Lord of the Rings reference right there. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you falling down. And you can't get up. Life alert. <laughs> Took an arrow to the knee. Need to sneeze. Here, get up. Don't do it. Jordan, huh? It's no fallout though, so they didn't actually record a thousand <clears throat> different names. Well, it's not like they didn't record any names or any words. I don't know who it, who is it though. It's just. All right. So I thought there'd be no basis for flowers. You Con do not need to know. Conveniently fell in a bed of leaves, so I'm gonna really quickly uh, heal. It was uh, that water effect, though. Can we take a little bit of a deeper look at, look at this menu here? Yeah, definitely. Um, you recovered two to, to, to So, standard RPG type fare. You have your item screen where you have your equipment, your item, you know, your healing items you and everything. Dog salad. Uh, yeah, dog salad. You can select it. You can use it. You can get info on it. Dog salad heals question mark HP. It <laughs> so doesn't tell you. It heals. What the fuck? Uh, well, most items it will actually tell you how much it's healing. So if I did a unicycle, which it, or let's do a nice cream because it always compliments you when you take one. Nice cream heals 15 HP instead of a joke. The rapper says something nice. So there's always just these little funny quips that to be had. You have your status menu, shows your name, your HP, your attack, your weapon. I'm wearing ballet shoes. Armor is a manly bandana, and I have 114 so you're, you're gold. So you're wearing ballet shoes, but you have a manly bandana, so you're yep. good. Yeah, and I'm not actually sure if the character is supposed to be a boy or a girl. My assumption was a girl because of the pink and blue shirt. Yeah. But I think that they mix the pink and blue colors to, to kind of say, it's hey, part, it to, could be either to or. To Alberta? Yeah. Like, you don't know what it is. Are you in water? Uh -huh. What are you? Oh. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. All right. This reminds me of a lot like Zelda right now. Yeah, and I'm there's a, a Zelda of, vibe right now. Yeah, there's a lot of puzzle elements to it. So let's see. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will float through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Doing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. <laughs> <laughs> so I love save. finding the new, the new save, uh, the new save spots, and just seeing what, what fills you with determination. What happens this time. if you go down to the bottom waterfall? Do you fall off? No, it just no, doesn't. Just yeah. doesn't let you go. I mean, there. it is a very guided game. There are a lot of. Uh, well, there... I didn't know if it'd be like, oh, now you're dead because you you explored. Type thing, because that's what I would have done. Be like, hey, let me try this, and just boom. And you would have learned your lesson. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, let me let me make that mistake, but teach me not to make that mistake. Yeah. It's cool, there's no brain that shows no signs of wear and tear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take one? Duh. Sure. You got an astro food. Man, astronaut so food. I, I went, can read. When I went to go do uh, training uh, for our job, we went to Atlanta for three months, and one of my friends decided to buy astronaut food, and it's actually... It's it's actually surprisingly okay, and like the what expiration the date was, uh, the expiration date was like, I don't know, thirty years from now or some shit like that. Yeah. And we we're like, oh cool, so it makes sense that they're astronaut food. So we'll be go ahead and we'll beat this. Be, uh, we'll be you up this sock dummy. the dummy. Who cares? I care. Well, here comes the queen, Mur the Murloc that. queen. Right? We're playing Fallout. Uh oh. Oh, oh shit. shit. I probably shouldn't have hit that dummy. Maybe you did damage to him. Fool. Wait, so what if you didn't hit the dummy? I don't know, it might not, uh... My cousin used to live inside this dummy, too, until you came along. I think it might be fun at some point to go back to that save we just did and see what happens if we don't hit the dummy. Maybe. But I probably have to exile the whole entire game. That's true, game I didn't think about that part. <laughs> spook them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. 
You, you Brad. Did, it, it's your soul! Because he said it oh, very sorry. loudly. It's all capitalized. So, so it's soul. <clears throat> mad dummy blocks the way. So you have your four different options what down the here. Hell? So the battle screen, I, I like a lot. It's just, it's your very typical, you know, first person, like your Dragon Quest, Earthbound type thing where you don't see your character, you just see the actions that they're doing. So fighting, uh, there's kind of a timing based fighting system. Uh, act is what I'm doing though. So if you act with something you can check them out or you can talk to them So one of the interesting conceits of this game is that you can actually play through with a completely pacifist run or you can kill everything uh, And based off of the actions that you do the ending, ending changes. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, I love when games do that. Yeah, and and I don't know there seems to, I, I find it hard to actually want to kill anything in this world because nothing is actually genuinely seem mean in this game. Yeah. Um, even the enemies, they're all goofy, they're all silly designs, and I'm always like, oh, I feel really bad trying to hurt you. But yeah, but when you go back and play your second one, you're like, I'm just gonna murder everybody. Yeah, I'm gonna murder everything. I'm probably gonna feel really guilty with that, too. You have the ability to then, you know, do your normal item screen, and Mercy, once you actually talk to an enemy enough, this will highlight yellow, and then you can actually spare them. You get zero experience points, but you still get money, so you can still always buy new stuff down the line. So. I thought you said it would highlight yellow for a second. <laughs> highlight yellow. It just changed from spare to yellow, yeah. and it's like, alright, whatever. <laughs> you only live once! So We'll talk. You talk to the dummy. He had nothing fun to say. Doesn't seem much for conversation. Oh, there we go. So it, no one is happy with this. <laughs> so they talk to you, and then in between, you have this kind of bullet heli uh, battle system where you dodge uh, the attacks throughout the bombs. whole entire game. Oh, and he hit himself with one of his own uh, watcher gaming magic attacks. Hey, you. Forget I said anything about magic. It's a nice little subtle hint there. Yep. So we're gonna keep doing that, we're gonna... He's looking nervous. Yep, we're gonna talk to the dummy again, you talk to the dummy. Doesn't seem much for conversation, because no one's happy with this. Defeat you and take your soul. So now we're gonna start dodging some more of these magic It's kind of like a deformed Christmas tree made of human skin. Yeah. Is the vibe I'm getting. I don't, I don't know if I'm looking at it right, or... No, I can kind of I can kind of see that. Bossing around, it's bullets. So we'll do mad dummy again. We're gonna... We're just gonna check him out this time. Because they're ghosts, physical attacks will fail. So I can't actually yeah. hurt him, so what I gotta do is Talk dodge these attacks enough, and eventually they will all just continue to keep hitting him. Is it easy to dodge those attacks with the, uh... With the up, down, left, right keys it, there? It is. It's it's decent enough. Um, I'm kind of sitting in a slightly it's uncomfortable. It's doing an armless uh, god dance. Yeah, it's doing an armless god dance. So there's always these really funny things that it does. Uh, the characters kind of change throughout the battle. So I'm just going to keep talking to him until he... Uh, is he actually going to say something? The the dummy, he's been, he's been talking this whole time. He says there's not much conversation. Alright, so Madison glares into a mirror. Then turns to you with the same expression. Alright. That's great. Fantastic. <laughs> so we're just gonna keep on uh, checking him out. Then everything else will be mine. So this guy is actually, I think, kind of a boss almost, it seems. So I just have to kind of keep on getting cotton all over the dialogue box. <laughs> so we're gonna keep on talking at him. He's not gonna have anything for it, and so we kind of got to keep on. Uh... Your health is getting kind of low, though. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I need my beef jerky. Oh, so man. if I sound like I have something in my mouth, that's what it is. So we're gonna keep on just talking to him, and yeah, I'll I'll, I'll be fine with the 13 health that I have right now. What was their name again? Oh, he's starting to forget his cousin. Oh shit. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, oh god damn. Oh there we oh, go. Oh, got it. Alright, so now I'll probably go ahead and heal. So we're gonna go ahead and, uh, eat a unicycle. You recovered 11 HP. Awesome. And then he'll try to go ahead and hit me again. Huh? Jesus. Huh? I do like that little minigame aspect of it. Yeah. It's kinda it, cool. It definitely, uh... It's so, different. So is that what every fight is like? You're just dodging their attacks? Pretty much, yeah. So you dodge their attacks until they, until they eventually will allow you to spare them. Is, uh, each, is each attack from like different enemies different like is yeah. not, it seems like the like, mushroom dudes every time whatever they are yeah so every single attack is always going to be different like there was one enemy that i fought that uh flexed his muscles the whole entire time and he we ended up having a flexing contest <laughs> and the way that i ended up beating him was he flexed so hard that he ended up flexing himself off of the screen and i won because his muscles filled up with so much air oh um, god like, dummies 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 remember how i said not to shoot at me well there's you're, you're all fired you're all been replaced! 
Right. Keegan, have you ever thought about doing a, a career in um, voice acting? I've actually done a few cartoon voices. Really? Yeah. So his secret power is relying on people that aren't garbage. Mechanical words fill the I, room. What's I, I might actually do that? some voices during this because I feel like this would be perfect for it. That's fine. He talks to the dummy. He still doesn't want to talk to me. No one is happy with this. Magic missile. I missed it. Oh! Ooh. Shit. Ooh. Well, that was intense. That's not. That one's not messing around. It smells like, like a clothing, clothing store. <laughs> so the the one thing that I will say with um, the whole like, you know, pacifist run and everything. Holy shit. There we go. Is that it definitely battles can take a lot longer than if I was just going to straight up like kill this guy. Uh, which uh, is, oh, god oh my god. Oh my god. You're damn. gonna die. You're He's gonna die. Correct. Yeah, that was. Else. That was fucking rough. We're gonna eat a, a nice right. cream. Alright. <laughs> Are those claws natural? Alright. Yeah, what's this, the. Uh, what's, oh, this is the final attack. Uh, the Banjo Kazooie person. Gruntilda? What's yeah. she sound like? Because I feel like she, <laughs> he reminds me or she, this dummy reminds me a little bit of Gruntilda. Because like that, and that's why he's got the nasally sound to him. Ooh, speaking of nasal. some more health, man. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. I don't need friends. He's a sword, man. I've got knives. Woo! <laughs> Alright, I'm really nervous that I might not. I'm out of knives. <laughs> But, but it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me, and I can't hurt you. Well, be, you'll be stuck fighting me. Forever! <laughs> Ever! Forever! <laughs> That's actually not bad. Yeah, that actually, what, actually... What, what the heck is this? Erg! Acid rain? Ooh. Oh, forget it! I'm out of here! <laughs> the fight ended from a random bout of massive acid oh. rain. Oh, so this is a ghost that I actually oh, helped out earlier, sorry, I, don't I like believe. You, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend nearly left. Oh no, you, you guys look like you're having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no! The hell? <laughs> well, well, oh wait, is the, who's talking here? That's the ghost. Oh, um, uh, wait, then the next line is it? I'm confused by who. Feel free to come back. If you want so to. your character's always silent. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's it's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Bye, bitch. So that's a really good example. <laughs> wow, bye, bitch. That's all of a sudden really uh really graphic. All you guys cool with you doing next? I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm uh, not really. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm done with this bullshit. Uh, oh, look, I'm back. Hey. All right. Hey. Hey, it's not so much that I don't okay, enjoy it, I just don't know how many viewers would enjoy seeing you narrate well, the entirety of the case, story. You don't. You don't. Bye! You, feel you can do the ghost. <laughs> Every time the ghost comes in, you can do the ghost. So that's a good example of like the, the combat system, where it definitely probably would be quicker for me to just go ahead and kill that guy. Duck. But, yeah, I saw this duck earlier. This little bird wants to carry you across. Okay. Accept the bird's offer. Uh, that's going to take me all away to the very beginning, so I don't really want to do that just yet. Uh, so like yeah, I probably could have killed him way easier, way oh quicker God, had that, I dude? just. I'm not sure yet. When I another dummy in there. Yeah, there's another dummy right there. We're gonna see what this sign says. North block access, East Highlands, Temi Village. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead uh, and go north. It's a, I mean, so far it's very weird. Uh, oh sure. Whoa. It's almost like a dream. It reminds me of like a children's book right here. Like yeah. I feel like something Doctor yeah. Seuss would do. Maybe. It's a very surreal game. Like, the art style is very quirky. There's a lot of references to, like, it sometimes can be very, like... It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> Why? Oh, like, there's sometimes weird, uh... Snail, snail. <laughs> oh, and... wondering what How do you use snail, snail? Uh... Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. So snail is Sam Beal. <laughs> All right. What's the dead dude? It looks, know, like, it looks like uh, uh, the guy from Saw. Oh, uh, he's grown up so much that he hasn't changed his shell. <laughs> so kind of stuck there. Calling down bills. So yeah, there's like a lot of like, a occasionally the game can kind of get too like, self-aware. There's a snail right. Oh, my friend! <laughs> Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race and if the yellow snail wins, you win! Alright, that sounds good. It's Ten so easy to play. To play. Should we go ahead and play? Play or no? Yeah, we'll play. <laughs> okay, play or no. press the repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? <clears throat> Three, two, one, go! 
not doing very good. The yellow smell sucks though. He's gonna get some beat speed. He's upside down. Yeah, no, this is. I, I feel like this. this I'm is, getting bamboozled right this is, now. This is not like Turbo, unless he goes Pew! at the end. Do you guys ever watch Turbo? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, apparently, DreamWorks is in trouble because of that movie and a couple other ones he's done. Really? Wait, why is my snail on fire? Oh, looks like you encouraged yourself too much. All the pressure to succeed. Really got to. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, alright. Well, that's good to know. I just wasted ten bucks on that. Dude, no, you gotta do it again, but I encourage it this time. Do I? I'm just telling okay. you, because you encouraged it too much. No, but I think that that's the... Alright, alright. No, it's... Alright, we'll try it, we'll try it we'll one yeah, more time. you encouraged it too much, so encourage it, but not a whole lot. Oh, it said press Z to encourage your snail. I know, but then at the so ghost at the end... The, press C. Yeah, the ghost at the end said you encouraged it too much. So now, like, when an exclamation points, I would do it. No, that well, that it, oh. an exclamation points when I do ah. it. So I don't know... Because every single time I, I exclamation point it, or I encourage it, it just stops. So I feel like I'm supposed to do the exact opposite of what they actually want me to do. Because mm. it's doing something now. Sneaky. Look at that, look at that snail effect, though. Aren't there actual mm -hmm. real snail races? I feel like I've seen something like that on like a weird like culture show where there's yeah. actually something that people do, like that and turtles and shit like that. Yeah, where do you think Turbo came from? The concept for Turbo came from? They used to do mouse races back where I'm from. Yeah. Right, well... Wait, what? <laughs> They race mice. Yeah. I... You both tried your best, but Snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh. Whatever. That snail can go fuck itself. So apparently, you gotta find the right, uh, the right, the right amount. Amount of it. I'm not gonna talk to him. I don't really care. That's oh, just a I snail. Don't know. Village. What a jerk. <laughs> what, a, what a dick. I don't what know. Let's see what's day. in here. Come on. Oh. oh, nice. <gasps> so, oh, there. I've the got other some thing heat you dunk have. for you. Actually, that's he's more of an old man, but so I thought that this game was kind of just like more of an adventure game And when I got these uh, these menu screens like these shops and everything I was like, oh, this is very much Dragon Quest. This is very much, you know, earthbound and everything like that. So you have the ability to buy new You know buy new armor and everything like that um, I lose some attack with those guys. So we're not gonna buy that We're gonna buy a CT because that increases my speed and we're gonna buy a crab apple that looks like a crab Thanks. Uh, so with these guys, you can sell everything, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell... Not get more of it, though I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the Timmy Village is your best bet. Alright, where is it? I don't, I remember. don't remember. Great. Whoa there! Thanks, man. Bye! Be careful out there, kid! Am I so... doing it? <laughs> I'm enjoying doing the voices. I know that you are, that's why I don't want to take <laughs> it away from you. So, Tom, you played a lot of, like, the Dragon Quest and stuff the, like that. What's, what's that thing? Uh, <laughs> So that's an item storage box that oh, you can just toss okay. yeah, stuff into. I, I, yeah. Because it's the same box everywhere, so you can toss an item into there, and then later in the game you can see more of it. So uh, so they're all connected? Yeah. And so these little guys right here have been telling um, the story of the war between the humans and the monsters, which is actually a very like kind of sad story. It, it starts off with the monsters were kicked out of their homeland, and the monsters are weaker than humans, um, and... Pretty much have just been, you know, kind of forced into like this, this terrible existence because humans are scared of them, which is kind of a, a deeper and darker storyline that I was expecting out of a game that is so cute, almost. Yeah. I mean, you know, you gotta feel bad for them, I guess. Yeah. I mean. But they are monsters. Oh I mean, yeah, I, I can't oh. really say I blame anyone for. But but. So was Sully and Mike Wazowski, and everybody loved them. Oh, this is cool. So yeah, there's a lot of like really neat ideas with this. This is very very Zelda. -y. Yeah, like, and, and you know, yeah, the lantern. I, they could have just had really boring, you know, generic dungeons and everything like that. But I think this is a really really neat looking. Yeah, environment I think it, right here. Like we uh -oh. said, like. Oh, it's a kitty cat. Oh my god. Special enemy Temmy is here to defeat you. All right, so we're gonna. <laughs> Temmy looks like she can't. All right, so should we check Temmy, feed Temmy flakes, talk to Temmy, or flex? Feed her some flakes. Let's feed her some I flakes. I wouldn't flex. Temmy only wants the Temmy flakes. Mm. Why is Temmy. Oh shit. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. Why is oh, Temmy speaking awesome. the first person? Or third person. So every battle is a little different. Every right? battle has different attacks and everything like that. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna flex a Temmy. Flex. You flex a Temmy. Oh no, you must have not here. I can't do that. This is the same voice. Whoa! That was the guy originally who flexed at me a bunch. Oh, I have to do. Dis... No, oh, no. I can't do a manly voice song. I just have weird voices. All right, so Temmy's dead now. What? And uh, flex, flex master flex. Now I'm fighting Killer. flex master flex over there. Aaron. His name is Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> I love that he has like a douchey name. So we're gonna flex at Aaron again. Aaron flexes very hard. 
<laughs> he flexes himself out of the room. You won! You earned zero XP. So that yeah, so every single time you do a mercy killing or a mercy battle, you don't ever get any experience points. You just get you level up money off of it. Uh, you don't. Oh. Yeah. Which is, and technically every single battle can be won by doing, you know, these, uh, just, you know, the mercy killings and everything like that, or, the, you know, the conversational pieces. Yeah. Um, so, really what it revolves around is how good are your dodging abilities with the, you know, the timed attacks and everything. Mm -hmm. Because technically you can survive anything, uh, well, maybe as long as you can dodge long enough. Yeah. I kind of suck at it every once in a while. I'm so mode, mode small. small, these guys you can just looks like Jello spare right away. Oh, that's new. Mode very small normal. Is very normal. All right, so we're gonna, You're gonna flirt with it. Flirt with it. <laughs> we're gonna flirt with it. You wiggle your hips <laughs> suddenly. Whoa! Whoa! It liked okay. what it saw. Oh god, maybe it didn't. It didn't like you, Jordan. You're not sexy enough for it, apparently. But yeah, so I I, I really do like all the different attacks that all the enemies have. Um, how... It keeps you on your. Yeah. Uh, how long does it take for you to get like the battle mechanics down? Uh, I mean, it, I mean it's very sim simplistic, but like control-wise, I'm sure there's a little bit of struggle initially. Yeah, I would I would still say I'm still kind of learning it, mostly because it's it's trying to you know learn the new patterns and everything. And and what you'll also see later at certain points in the game is that uh, they will um, have different colored attacks. So blue attacks, mm -hmm. um, as if you don't move, blue attacks miss you. Red attacks do extra damage and stuff like that. Green attacks actually heal you. So there are other mechanics that you have. Um, so, you know, maybe you don't always want to dodge necessarily. Uh, you know, appreciate your respect. <laughs> I was like, boundaries. what's an unhug? Just wiggle. Okay. Whoa. Hey there. And so, yeah, then different choices will also bring about different attack patterns. Okay. And so it kind of keeps you... Uh, On your toes. All right, so now it's comfortable with the presence. We're going to spare it. One tw got 20 gold from it. Yay! You know, I uh, I was not expecting to enjoy this game as much as I am. I couldn't play it on a computer because sure. I hate playing anything on a computer. But if this came in on PSN, I think I'd pick it up. Yeah, I mean, there I can definitely understand why this game is getting a lot of the. Uh, it's very well made. The respect that it's getting and the admiration yeah. from the, the people. Without candles or magic to guide you home, the monsters use crystals um, you, to navigate. If you get on PSN, I'll be in your ear the whole time with the voices. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, so I mean, it's a... Oh, well, well. Wait, do you have to memorize it then? Does it get lighter if you go back to where you were? I don't know. There was little candle things around. Where'd they go? And I really like the music of this game as well. Like, uh, there's a lot of really... Uh, Flex Master Flex is back. So we're gonna we're gonna flex at Aaron because he's always the easiest. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for both of you. Okay. Whoa, bar God. soap. God damn. Oh, shit. Uh, so Washua likes everything to be clean. Um, so generally, when you talk to him, you have the ability to uh, uh, ask everyone to clean you. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Tweet. So now we'll get to see. So I don't move with those ones. Those ones won't hit me if I get a green one. I didn't do any of those uh, <laughs> correctly. But didn't do any of that. So we'll talk to Washua again. We'll have him clean us again. So green means clean. And now we just kind of don't move with those ones. Those ones don't hit us, and ah. we're all right. So we'll go ahead and we'll spare. Washua is done. No yeah, need for a swimming, swimming suit. suit. And then there are his muscles flexing at us. Oh God! Jesus. I still like his name's Flex Master Flex. I don't, I don't care if his name's Aaron. It's Flex Master Flex. All right. So he uh, he keeps flexing, and then these are tears or sweat. I guess we'll say that they're sweat. <laughs> <laughs> right, bro, so do you even, do you even lift, bro? Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. So Aaron pretty much just shows up randomly and flexes really hard and then disappears for a good bit of time. All right, we got the lantern right there. All right. Yay, we can see it. We have to try and figure out where the next one is before it gets too dark again. There's yeah. one. Bromp. Can you bromp it again? Yeah. It looks like a swastika. I'm just pointing that I out. I mean, right it, it kind of. I mean, you're not it, wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that design. I mean, I don't think they planned that one, but it kind of looked like one. I don't think he's happy about so it. So, really, he what you're saying is that this game is really just created by a Nazi. You yeah. Just, you just call it the one guy who made this game a Nazi. And that's, yeah. that's the other great thing about this game. It is actually made by one guy. Do you do sound that design? That makes a little bit too, of sense or? with how quirky it is. Yeah, he did, that. he did sound design by himself. He did. Behind oh, you! It's oh, a God. Night. 
Those are the flowers. I'm sure so that's an things. echo flower. So echo flowers echo. hear one thing and repeat that for the rest of eternity. That sucks. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king. I should give him King, king Osgore a dreamer. Will become a god. You know, I gave up on the voice because I don't know a night. What's a night voice sound like? Well, I imagine Undini to kind of sounds have like a very like ethereal voice. You using big words. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that she has like a deep voice, but yeah. I, I view her as a woman. But I think she also has a like a, yeah. it's like a layered voice or whatever. Give up your soul. Or I'll Give tear up it your from your soul. body. Tear it from your body. Charming. Yeah. And go. All right, so I got to fight. Oh. All right, so this... Uh, I'm done. I'll help you fight. This Yay. little guy thinks that Undini is the absolute coolest person in the whole Yo, entire world. You did it. Undine is right in front of you. You've got front row seats to her... Wait, to her fight? It's a chick? Yeah. Oh. That's why I said it's a female voice. Oh. Damn. I don't know how I do a female low voice. You don't get to my pants about this, are you? All right, so I just dodged out on uh, losing my soul. <laughs> nice. So that's very uh, that's very convenient. You just uh, like headbutted that. Like, <clears throat> yeah. All right, cool. So we can go back this way. Whoa. Yeah, and so these guys, you hear a passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me. So say there's it. there's been this um, conversation on these echo flowers between I assume just a couple or something, and one person talked about you know their wish that they had and. Of course I won't laugh. And I, I don't know, there's something about these echo flowers telling this story um, of, like, this romance. Um, and, I don't know, it just, there's something hopeful about it. Um, and it's it's a really... It just hits some something. It hits a chord. It strikes a chord? Yeah. I guess it's designed to, you know, let you know that other people have been in this situation. Yeah. And they've been positive and they've tried to get their way out of it. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return and the underground will go empty. So there's a prophecy, and I think that's foreshadowing that my character is this angel who's going to save the monster race and and unite humanity. Yo! Oh, wait. Hey, is this kid again? <laughs> Wrong yo. <laughs> yo, bro! I'm yo. here! Yo, guys, I'm here! Woohoo! Oh, hey. Hey, guys. Yo. Yo, I'm here. I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask something. Kagan, I will murder you in your sleep. Yo, you're a human, right? Ha <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm human. Well, I know it now. I mean, Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, I like, um, God, I guess gonna... like, so This is something. driving me crazy. Are you just get... Is this what you do when yo, you're by yourself? Say something to me and I, I can't hurt you. I can't hurt you. Please. I, I yeah. do all the time in the car. Yo, yeah, what? Do you just, wait, do you oh, just talk oh. to yourself in the car then? No, like when I sing, I'll do like different different voices. Or my favorite one I do is uh, is guy. Man, it's such a turd. <laughs> it's such a turd. Uh, his name's Eduardo from um um. I told I did this voice on something recently. Your your fat Albert. Voice. Yeah. Hey, hey, my name's Eduardo. How are you guys? That's my favorite one. I don't know why. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, to, to be fair, Keegan did actually do voiceovers. Well, he, he was working on a show, uh, an animation. Yeah. Yep. Keegan is, as you all know, a perpetual child. <laughs> and he was working on a children's show. And I have, um, I have the raw, raw uh, footage still on my phone of all my voices. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, my, my favorite one I did, this isn't one. So, you guys know Magic School Bus? Yeah. Uh, I did one, and his name was Mr. Drake. So he talked like this up in his like measly sound. This looks important, so I'm gonna shut up. Seven. <laughs> but that's. So they're saying that they have seven, six souls out of the seventh, and the seventh final soul. This world will be transformed. First. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. <laughs> but. I feel like that's actually. I mean, we've <laughs> kind of got a, yeah, we've had a good bit of a uh, gameplay and everything like that with this. I think you you both kind of get an idea of what the game is like. There's a, a good yeah. bit of humor to it, but it also juxtaposes with this uh, kind of a darker tale of uh, monsters. No pun intended. And, yeah. Uh, what and, uh, um, what country was the creator of this from? I think he's American. Really? Yeah. That does surprise me. Uh, America. But yeah, I mean, from, from what I've been playing, I mean, I think it's about a six to eight hour game. Uh, like, I'm really incredibly intrigued by where the st story is going, and I wasn't honestly expecting it to be as dark as it kind of has gone. Um, mm. 
and, but I, I still really enjoy the you know the funny battles that you see. Um, and I'm kind of glad we got to see some of the different elements inside battle. With yeah, the, that was definitely cool. You know, the, the, At least it keeps it fresh. Yeah, know? the green stuff and the blue and the blue you know not moving attacks. So yeah, uh, I think that everyone who's interested in it should definitely try it out. It's like ten bucks on Steam right now. Sounds uh, good. So it's it's definitely I think a worthwhile investment. Uh, and, uh, I'm looking up on the Wikipedia article right now the scores I've gotten for it. Yeah. Uh, what do you think Metacritic gave this thing? Uh, I think it's got like a 90 on Metacritic or something. 94. Yeah. Mm. Destructoid gave it a 10 out of 10. Game Informer 9.5. Giant Bomb gave it 5. Yeah. Uh, PC Gamer 91 out of 100. I mean, aside from not having any sort of like customization options with visuals, which I understand why it didn't, because I mean, it's going for a very specific aesthetic. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and maybe controller support. I can't really think of anything that I'd fault this game with. It's got great music. It's got great a great look to it. Uh, I mean, really, if you're into this type of game at all, you should probably enjoy oh, yeah. this yeah. It's uh, it's Kickstarter goal, just so you, I'm, again, on the Wikipedia article, yeah. was $5,000, uh, raised $51,124 by 2,398 people. Wow. Yeah, yeah so I, I think, really wish I could have uh, kickstarted this, but I mean, I think that he definitely utilized the funds that he got to the best that he could. Mm -hmm. uh, and I really, I really hope to see this guy make more stuff in the future, because if he's got such a creative vision with this one small game that he made... I'd love to see him do something bigger. So Agreed. So sorry I didn't talk too much during it. I was kind of trying to, to not die during battles and everything. But hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed uh, this quick bite. And hopefully Tom and Keegan, you guys... Uh, if you guys like my voices, I'll keep them up. If you don't, tell me and I'll stop. Yeah, yeah. please vote. Yeah, please, please tell them to not <laughs> ever do yes. voices again. Say yes. <laughs> Say yeah! So for every single like and subscribe we get from this video, Keegan will not do a voice yep. again. So <laughs> if you want to make that... What if we lose subscribers? Oh, God. <laughs> Careful what you say. Well, until you can... next time. <laughs> Welcome to the second level. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Hey, guys. We're charming. You can take us home to your mom. We really like moms. So how about you uh, share this video with your mom? Tell her to like and subscribe. Because Keegan's cute. Aren't you, Keegan? <laughs>